Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys a financial update because as you guys know, we got debt free in the fall. So around October or November. And I just wanted to tell you how we've been doing ever since. Through the past four or five years, we've been on a budget and we were extremely focused on getting this debt eradicated, just getting it out of our lives and becoming debt free. And that was such a big goal. And then we knew that once we paid that off, we really wanted a car. And our apartment was, it had water damage on some of the wallpaper. The floors were really, really worn down and they needed to be fixed up. So we knew that we wanted to put some money into renovating our apartment too. Well, we did that within the first, I think after two months, we'd saved up enough to buy a car which was a big deal for us and we're still really enjoying it. After that, we started renovating the apartment and we're pretty much done with that. Spending money at all was just, it's not something that I'm used to. And spending big amounts is definitely not something that I'm used to. So I kind of got this like, I just felt like the money was just drifting away, out of my hands, out of my reach. and. It was starting to kind of control me instead of me controlling it. On top of all this, I got pregnant, which you guys know, and that is of course a positive thing, but it meant that I had no energy to do anything. I was pretty much on the couch, being sick, sleeping or something like that all the time. So one, I used to manage the budget. Two, Morton was working a lot of hours and he had to take care of the shopping, the cooking, and dealing with his clients on top of all of that. And it was just really stressful. He was really stretched to his limit. So it ended up being that we got a lot of takeout and yeah, we just spent a lot of money on food. It's pretty much what I'm saying. And I didn't stay on top of the budget. So two weeks ago, I went through all the accounts for all of 2016 and I just put everything in my spreadsheet again. And I actually found out that we went over budget on quite a few of the categories, which was pretty upsetting. We haven't spent more than we actually have in our account. We have a pretty solid financial situation right now, but it just didn't feel good to actually overspend by that much on budget. So I kind of pulled the brake and I put us back on the envelope system. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have tried this, but <sighs> it's mixed feelings. I'm trying not to feel embarrassed by it because go doing the envelope system kind of feel makes me feel empowered somehow. Like now I'm back in charge and I'm gonna nail this. So the categories that we tend to overspend in the most are date money. So that's primarily when we go out to eat and do fun activities and stuff like that. And I think a lot of the date money also just got kind of mixed in with all the takeout because we didn't really go out on dates. So yeah, we just spent the food and the date money on takeout and we went over budget on both of those. So we spent a lot. The second one is our food. So I went and got cash for four weeks and I divided it into these envelopes and it's just very easy. And the good thing about the cash system is too that, that I have fewer withdrawals from the account so I don't have to put as many uh, numbers into my spreadsheet. We've done the cash system a few times but it's only been for like a few months at a time to kind of get into a rhythm and I think that's what we're gonna do this time as well. I don't see us doing this for like forever, I don't know. but. Right now, when I'm a little bit lower on energy, I don't have as much time to put into actually putting in all of these numbers into the little spreadsheet. So this is a really good solution. The last category that we put in a cash envelope is Morden's pocket money. And that's just because he tends to be a little more spontaneous with how he spends his money when he's out with the boys or doing whatever. And I'm just a little bit more I hold back and then every once in a while I buy something that's a little more expensive. He likes having the envelope. He likes to have the number and then he can just see how much he has left. And that way I don't have to remind, remind him all the time. He's in charge and he can just do whatever he wants with it. And that's the way I like it. I've been trying to evaluate what kind of like 
what went wrong. I don't think anything in particular went wrong. I think it was kind of this, we just needed a little time to breathe. Um, and we needed to fix some things and we have a lot of things that we haven't been buying for a long time that we wanted. And of course we're into the want section now, not the need section, but I got a new phone and my phone was really old and I do a lot with photos and video and it couldn't handle working with photos and video anymore. The second thing is that we actually, we had short term goals for what we wanted to invest in right after we got debt free. So we wanted a car, we wanted to renovate the apartment, but we never set like a long term goal for when we we're done. So we just kind of got demotivated. And so now we decided that we want to save up within the next two or three years, enough, maybe four years, but enough to put a down payment down on a house. We don't know yet if we want a house. Um, we like being in this apartment, we like being in the city, and if we buy a house, we'll have to probably go a little further away than here. So we don't know if we want that yet, but we're having a baby this summer, and if we do in two years down the road decide that we want to buy a house and that's what's best for our family, then we'll actually have the option. If we don't want to buy a house, then we want to definitely invest that money in probably like rental property or some other kind of investment. So that's our goal for now and it feels really good to have a goal again. I just wanted to give you guys an update and just tell you honestly how we've been doing for the last few months. We haven't been doing bad, we've just been sliding a little, relaxing a little and now we're back on track so that's really nice. And I really want to hear if any of you guys have experienced that, are you all out of debt or are you paying it off? Because I know from the comments that a lot of people are still paying off their debt. But does everyone have a goal for after they're done? Because it seems so surreal to actually be done paying off our debt because it seems like it's been there forever. We got married with a little bit of debt and then it's just been like... And now it's finally gone again. So it's like clean slate. Now what? That was the update on our finances and budget and where we're heading and our goals and stuff and I hope you guys liked it please don't be too judgmental on us we're just normal people working our way through this as everyone else and saving is a whole new thing for us so we're still learning hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and share it with your friends have a great day bye if you want to watch more tiny home tours, click on the video on the left to see how this family of six lives comfortably in only 1,000 square feet. If you like our videos, hit subscribe to get new updates.